I'm here to talk about Fast Five. Now, let's talk about Fast and the Furious and the whole series first. The first one I liked very much. I thought it was very good. I loved the street races and it was excellent. Then, the second one, it went downhill. It was still decent, nothing special, not that great. Tokyo Drift, I hated. I don't know, I may be the only one, but I hated this. Bow Wow and, oh my god, it was just terrible. I didn't like it at all. And then, there was the next one, The Fast and the Furious, which gets me so confused. These titles, like, why would they call it that? Why didn't they just call it Fast and the Furious 4, you know? I would thought that one was actually pretty decent. I liked that one too. So now we're here to talk about Fast Five, and it was pretty good. It's just, it didn't feel like a Fast and the Furious movie to me. Like, there was... Not that many street races, but it was still a pretty good movie on its own. This movie lacked with street races. Now, that's not a big problem people will think, but that's what Fast and the Furious was known for. Street races, and this movie doesn't have it. It has like maybe one or two, and they're very small. And some street races are not even shown. They just show you that they got the car or whatever. You know, it's like ridiculous. Now, the best part of this whole movie is The Rock. He comes in and he starts kicking everybody's ass. He's the cop that's supposed to track down these guys and find them. And... Nobody does it better than The Rock. We all know that. Like, when you put The Rock in the action movie and you tell him to kick people's asses, it is great to watch. And especially the fight between him and Vin Diesel, it's awesome. Like, if you're not gonna, if you're gonna go watch this movie and you want a reason, well, that's a reason. Although I wish the fight lasted a little longer, the fight was pretty cool between the two. Now everybody's back, you know. Everybody from the past Fast and the Furious movies are back in this one, and I thought that was good. You know, because that's what made it interesting and to see the whole crew do one more thing together. They, that is what this movie is about. It is about the Fast and Furious crew doing one last job together so they can buy their freedom because they are wanted criminals in this movie. So, you know, they do, that's what they're trying to do is trying to get back their freedom with money and they're going to do one last job but this job is extremely difficult and the person that's chasing them down and stuff is The Rock and I'd be scared shitless if he was chasing me down because he can kick people's asses and it is shown in this movie. What this movie fails is like it has some really stupid scenes like there's a scene with the bank vault it's retarded it's like attached to two cars first of all there's no way that bank vault could be carried by these two cars but they use these bank vaults to knock out like cop cars and it's like a ridiculous chase scene it's so stupid, and that's what lowers the rating for this movie. Um, another problem with this movie is, of course, the it's so unrealistic. You know, there's so much bullshit in this movie. Oh my god. But I guess you have to, like, suspend your disbelief because if you don't, you're really gonna hate this movie. But you gotta, you gotta have that in this movie because it makes it interesting to watch. You gotta suspend your disbelief sometimes, you know? Y you may be like, oh, that can't happen, but... To see that it could happen, for them just to show how it possibly could happen, was actually pretty interesting, even though in no way any of that stuff could really happen. If you're an action fan, and if you really like Fast and the Furious, but if you like Fast and the Furious for street racing, then don't watch this because there is not that much street racing. So, only watch this if you really like Fast and the Furious and you really like action movies because this has a lot of that and if you love bullshit well this movie has a lot of that too. I do like the plot of this movie but the, the bullshit is too much the scene with the vault was retarded there's a couple of dumb scenes and a couple of unnecessary scenes that did not need to be in this movie but they felt like if they made it longer people would give it like higher ratings so I'm gonna give this movie a 6.5 out of 10 the ending was good. I'm not going to say anything bad about the ending like I usually do for every movie. I usually don't like the ending, but the ending was pretty good in this movie. Uh, yeah, so that's what I would give this movie. So, subscribe. And I know I've been gone for a while, but I'm back. And there will be updates this Monday and definitely a rant on Wednesday and a review on Friday. I'm going to try to do three videos a week. It's very hard with like school and everything else I gotta do, but I don't care about that anymore because I'm committed now to making videos. So please subscribe and there will be many more to watch, many more reviews, rants, and updates. So thanks for subscribing and thanks for supporting me. It means a lot to me.